stand up straight posture. Had an awesome stopover in West Cape Hound National Park last night at the Shelley Beach Camp. This camp is one of our favourites. It's a little bit special to us because it's actually where we made our first ever YouTube video. Just over a year ago now. You get to set up right next to the beach, which is awesome. It's a bandicoot! And now we have come to Elephant Rocks to possibly have a swim depending how warm it is down there. But either way, such a beautiful spot, so excited just to see it again. And then this afternoon I think we are heading on to Warpole to do the treetops walk and find another camp there. If you're liking what you see, hit the subscribe button down below. Walking past Green's Pool on the way to Elephant Rocks and it was just too beautiful to pass up. Are you cold? So this is Waterfall Beach, which is named after the waterfall you can see behind me that runs from a spring way back in the park. So it's pretty cool. Fresh water. treetop walk um, near Walpole, big tingles. And yeah, you get to walk through them at height, which is awesome. So yeah, it's a giant suspension bridge with multiple parts. The whole thing wobbles when you walk. Fun. But yeah, look down. It's awesome. This is the highest point, 40 meters above the ground. As you can see, the trees are taller than that. Um, apparently, they can get to 70 meters. Probably looks likely just behind us. That way. Not only are they tall, but the trees have really, really thick trunks and bases. I reckon they chopped that one over so it didn't fall into this. So as part of the treetop walk, you can also do this ancient empire walk that lets you stand inside one of the hollowed out giant tingle trees. Insect and fungal attacks break down the wood in the center of the tree. And then a fire comes through and burns out all the dead wood in the middle. So you find a lot of trees like this held up with just, just the outside and hollow, which is crazy given they're 70 meters tall held up by Yes. Nature's weird and wonderful. I was 
foreign X trail could do this easily. It's just I see what they mean a lifted extra because it's all really compact, but there is a bit of, of the wheel ruts are sort of dead in parts. So maybe like a two inch lift would help. So there aren't a huge number of camps around this area, but hopefully we get a spot. It is paid, I think it was something like $10 a night per person, but nothing crazy. Um, and there's some Oh, there's a sink with no water. Hmm. Very good facilities. It's pretty well maintained. Yeah, and there are bunk beds, and you're just allowed to use them. But I guess it's not super popular to sleep in these random bunk beds. Well, I'm guessing they do camps and stuff here, like but with schools and they things. They said you can't reserve them, it's just first in, first serve. Where should we set up our camp? Yeah, this is the view from the rooftop tent. It's pretty sweet. We got ocean behind us. Tree tops just there. Still nicely protected from the wind. Yeah, nice camp. <laughs> Yeah, so it's an awesome trip. Um, it's great being down here in summer. Normally, uh, normally yeah. I'm down for winter time. It's all stormy and stuff, um, which has its own charm. But yeah, so many great places to swim. Um, if I still surfed, I'm sure I'd love it even more. Anyway, that brings it close to our great southern trip. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.